Hey y'all, it's your girl Suzette with Crafting with Susie coming to you today with a new post review. This is Red Shoes by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. But before I get into all of that, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, please hit the like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you get notified of when I do my next upload here on YouTube. I also put notification information on my Instagram page. I'll be sure to put that link in the description box below. And if you've been back to see me several times, thank you so much for your support. I love reading your words of encouragement. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty guys, so let's get right into it. Again, this is Red Shoes by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. She is a round uh, 50 by 60 diamond painting from Pam Diamond Paintings. I will put her in website information in the description box below. Uh, she does also come in a square. This one is 40 colors with four Aurora Borealis. Um, I will give you guys my honest review on this diamond painting. First things first, she's absolutely beautiful. She looks like a painting. She's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I think she turned out great. I'm happy that I finished her. I mean, she looks great. This is something I would put on my wall in a frame because of the fact that she does look so much like an actual painting. Um, but most of you know I had my troubles with her. And it wasn't that there was anything wrong with the painting. It's just that it was about approximately 90% confetti. And I don't know if that's the new way of rendering diamond paintings as of lately, but um, yeah, it was a lot, a whole lot. It got to the point where it was just like, you you had no choice but to lay each drill down. And there was a lot of changing of the colors. And for me, I don't have like a stack of colors on at one time. I use one color at a time and I do so, so I don't have any kind of accidents or so I don't drop anything, mix any colors up or anything like that. I try to stay as organized as possible. So I usually just, pull out one color at a time, which means I'm doing a lot of taking the color out, putting it in a tray, taking two or three drills out, then putting those drills back into the container from the tray and then putting it back into my storage container and doing it all over again, you know, however many times for that one section. So it kind of got to be a little bit too much. So I was constantly putting it to the side and then going back to it, putting it to the side, going back to it until finally I just, after a few months of doing that, I just finished her on up. She's been done for two, three weeks um, at this point in time, but I just hadn't, I showed it on my live, but I hadn't done the post review. So, let me just build my little post review sandwich. Positives are the canvas is really nice. The canvas is softer. It's not a hard canvas. It stays laying out flat. I didn't have to put like anything heavy or anything like that on top of her. Um, this is a canvas that was obtained legally because I was actually going to get it from Jasmine Beckett's uh, website that she has. You guys know what, what it's called, um, where the artist has so many paintings that they allow us to use for free. So that's how this was obtained. Then also, um, I thought it was a great size. Not too many colors, 40 colors is not bad at all. Uh, the Aurora Borealis are beautiful and the canvas was sticky and had a good stick. I didn't have popping drills or anything like that. You know, they weren't moving on me. The glue was a good stick. 
for the painting. So that's a positive part of the that what I personally feel like could be worked on is getting better drills. Um, we run into drills being misshapen and things like that, but I see it more pronounced with the small businesses, not all, just some, just some, not all. So for me, I did not keep these drills. I did dump them when I was finished in this huge pickle drawer that I have. <laughs> in this huge pickle jar that I have. I just dumped them in there. I did not keep them. I had no plans on reusing them. Um, I would say that plus the confetti, but see that the confetti part, that's just my personal preference. That's just my personal preference. And I understand why they need to do that because then you get something like this, it's so beautiful. But I would say just those two things were um, my two biggest concerns as far as the painting. The way it was rendered to have so much confetti and then the, or the way it was charted to have so much confetti and then the drills could have been better. The drills definitely could have been better. There was no 310 in this um, painting. What you see is like that blue black color. So there was no 310. And when you look at her hair and the reflection of the light for on the left hand side from the shoes and then the mixture of the grays over here on the right hand side I mean, that's just all confetti and it was real crazy. And the top, what is this? The top love. Look at that mug. Look at that face. Like, bro, you that face. It just says it all. And look at that shine. Okay. <laughs> so to come to the end of my little post review sandwich, I would say something else that um, was positive. The glue wasn't running all off on the sides here. I do put washi tape around and I'm gonna replace this cause it's starting to curl up on me. But I put the washi tape around. I've been doing that for a while, but I saw someone else talking about it. I, I don't wanna name names and then be wrong, but on their YouTube channel, because it's the truth, you get dust, dirt just from your hands you know and your clothing your sleeves and things like that and you would have to clean it to make it look nice so it's just best to put the washi tape on there sorry i bumped you um it's just best to put the washi tape on there so you don't have to deal with all that but it was nice that the glue wasn't like running all over into the schematics and off so far off of the actual painting and I'm going to frame her. She is gonna be one that gets framed. Um, I just think she's very, very pretty. Um, when I had her on the floor looking at her hands and I looked at the ABs and I'm like, ooh, do I wanna keep that? And I walked past it again and it's like the light of the reflection of the light on her hands. So like when you are looking at diamond paintings, you know, we're not supposed to be like two, three feet away from them. You know, you're supposed to stand back. It's like you're looking at a piece of art. So I just think that this one came out absolutely wonderful. I would suggest purchasing it if you're interested and you don't mind the confetti. You may get in a size that's crazy. The, the confetti is not bad at all. Mm. Mm. Shall please, it was crazy. <laughs> but it was worth it, it was worth it. It was 100% worth it. It just, she looks like a painting. And I'm glad I got it. So again, it does come in round and squares so of 50 by 60. I will put the link um, for the painting and the website in the description box below. 
if you guys um stayed with me to the end if you could please leave me a pair of red shoes um to let me know that you did stay to the end of the video let me know if you guys picked this one up i didn't mention this but i'll say it now this was supposed to be for a jbg alone i believe that was what it's called it was a um diamond painting event that was going on and my whole purpose of purchasing it was because i hadn't seen anybody else with it and i was like i'm getting that it's gorgeous I, and i haven't seen anyone else with it well, then when I got it and saw the confetti, I was like, there's no way I'm not going to finish this by the end of the event. But that was my purpose of um, getting it. Um, I'm sure whoever hosted that event will be doing it um, again sometime next year. So if you guys are interested in that, if you're interested in this painting, I'll make sure I have the information um, left for you guys in the description box. Thank you all so very much for supporting my channel. It means so much to me. Thank you all for stopping by. You all remember to stay beautiful and to stay blessed. Bye.